Welcome to Deal of Tech 101, aka Black Mantle, as we discuss information technology, also known as IT. In today's episode, what I want to talk to you about is I want to talk about a um, different points in IT that you have to look out for in terms of the IT professionals. The IT professionals are going to be people that work with you in your company to help solve and keep your infrastructure up. Now, if you ever wonder why IT people are very direct and they're very short when they're dealing with you and trying to solve your problem is we're honestly really trying to solve the problem and we, we are very direct and want to solve it so that we can move forward on to the next issue that's coming up. Now, keep in mind that it's almost like a one-to-many ratio. So we as one person have to serve many people, sometimes hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people. And that's going to be very difficult to get through. So keep in mind that we're going to be very direct so that we can get through, solve all these fires, and move forward to fight others. Now, I want to be very clear about something. One of the first things that I see a lot is people love to talk. All right. Now, that's perfectly fine. People love to talk. People have the free time. They have a break, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. They may go and hang out in the break room, may go get coffee, they may go for a walk, may go sit out in the car. But IT people kind of have a different perspective with that because when I'm when I'm doing these different types of things, what I notice is sometimes I'll take a little short break. I will talk to people, just kind of, you know, build a really cool relationship because you have to be very personal in the IT field. You have to be a person who's going to be talkative. Um, you have to be much more of an extrovert because you have to be able to relate to different people from different departments because you have to see a lot of people. So as we are going through these issues and other issues persist, we always have to be sure that we move quickly and getting through the issues so that we can serve the one to many people. Now, the one to many approach, it doesn't permit to individualize treatment. So when the IT person is helping you solve a problem, it has to become a mental thing that in the event that that happens to someone else, maybe on that team or a different team, we can quickly go and solve their problem. So we always have to be in the constant loop of learning new things all the time because our job is so difficult going through while from the outside it may look easy keep in mind our mind is always racing 24 7 365 so where you're able to leave and go home maybe at five you're able to come in at eight and you're able to focus on your one specific role each day it people have to work 24 7 365 even on the weekend sometimes when the system's down server may break router may break switch may break we're having to deal with those kind of problems while you could potentially enjoy your weekend as we would love to do that unless we take a vacation and totally don't have to deal with anything but I want you to keep that in mind as you're dealing with your IT people and hopefully this video will help you be able to understand what IT people go through. Now, we really do have 99 other issues that are going on and I promise you I'm not talking about the Jay-Z song. IT people really have 99 other issues that we have to handle. And sometimes I think we feel like uh, police officers in a sense because as police officers go out, they're having to go out to different um, places and different parts of the city and handle crime, fight crime. They're doing so many things. IT people have to fight crimes in terms of fighting IT issues, trying to resolve IT issues and make people happy. So you have to not only have good customer service skills, you have to have good uh, negotiation skills. You have to be able to still talk to people. Now, one big thing that is so funny is non-IT people have dedicated lunches. Well, what I mean by that is a person, for instance, who may work in accounting or a person who may work in finance or someone who may work in customer service, they can go to lunch at any given time of the day that they want, pretty much at the same time. IT people don't necessarily have that flexibility because we may be on our way out to lunch and probably get stopped by an end user and then you have to stop, turn around, go fix the problem and then leave for a late lunch. I found that all too often happen many times with me uh, when getting ready to leave and go out for lunch or just simply go outside for a brisk walk. I'm probably more likely going to get stopped and sometimes coffee would get cold as well if you're going to get a cup of coffee, um, you know, at work and stuff. But we don't necessarily have the dedicated lunches but we try to take those breaks whenever we pretty much can. And it's all too often hard to do at the actual desk because someone would probably stop by, which would be one of those 99 problems. Now, what I will say to you is most definitely be 
very patient and respectful to your IT team because the worst thing that you can do is be very impatient and be very disrespectful, which is not a good thing to do because you never want to hurt someone who is trying to help you. We are there to actually help you solve your problems so that you can be able to get back to work to be much more productive. But if you are being mean and sarcastic and impatient and not respectful, it just makes two people be disrespectful to each other. So definitely keep that in mind when you're dealing with your IT professional. Now, we're always busy. We're always solving potential problems coming up. So while it looks like that we may not be doing anything, in reality, we're having to think ahead in the future like a Jedi mind trick in a sense as we are going through trying to help solve potential issues that can come up. So the issue that you may have had, which is one of those one of those 99 problems, we're going to try to find a way to fix it for the next person should that happen. So that while it may have taken longer with you, it may take a shorter time with the next person and things just get better and better and better. And always, 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 people, I cannot stress this hard enough, always be sure that you provide details so we can get you up and running and get straight to the point. Just like when you take your car to the dealership, you tell the mechanic your car isn't working uh, because it makes a certain sound. Please treat the same thing like that when it comes to IT issues. The worst that you can say is my computer doesn't work. That's like taking your car to the mechanic and, says, and saying it doesn't work. So please keep that in mind as you're going through this so that we can effectively move through, solve your issues quickly and in an efficient manner. Uh, so that we can make sure that both of us can get the lunch on time and also that we are able to receive the details that you provided in order to solve your problem. So like, listen, and subscribe. Div Tech 101, a.k.a. Black Mantle. Look forward to bringing more technology content to you soon. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. If you like the video, smash that like button for me if you do not mind. And you all have a great rest of your day.